My name is Rhapsody. Welcome back to Slay the Spire. Uh, the Heartbreaker runs, of course. Ascension 10 on the Ironclad. We've, of course, finished all of the Ascensions on all of the characters. I'm just doing it to the heart now. Uh, hello again now. Choose a random card to obtain. 21. There's our first shop. Oh, this map isn't colorful enough. Our first shop is a while off. Random, colorless, uncommon card. I mean, you know, that could be good or it could be garbage. I'm gonna take the 21 damage to take a rare card. Okay, Feed Reaper, Double Tap. All pretty good selections here. I don't have any way to scale Reaper yet, so it immediately goes out. I think I'll take the Feed first. It's likelihood I managed to set up a feed kill here. Next turn would have to be bash defend, and then the turn after would have to be like strike strike feed. It's not entirely impossible. I'll give it a chance. Okay, never mind. Now it's entirely impossible. Mm-hmm. Because now I can only double defend. I can't afford to use the bash. Ah, I shouldn't have saved it. That cost me. That cost me a lot of HP, though. All right. Thunderclap headbutt iron wave. I'll take iron wave as a value pick. Helps us defend and attack at the same time. That's value right there. <laughs> Not too much I could do in that turn in terms of defense. I hate that this acid slime literally does nothing but attack these days. It's really frustrating. I'm hoping the next hand has bash feed, basically. Ancient potion as well as flex pommel strike. I don't need to be more aggressive right now. I mean, with the way the deck currently is, I could probably take a seeing red. It pads out my hand, so, you know, it's a delay of a card. It's card negative, obviously. Um, but it'll mean I can play everything else in my hand. How often is that always going to be relevant? Eh, not all the time, but I do intend to pick up things like Shrug It Off and stuff like that, after which seeing red's a lot better. Mm -mm. Can't take a curse this early. Not with how we're planning to run this run. Ugh, gosh. I want to leave the feed so I can use it, but I'm taking damage to do so. Mm-hmm. All right, give me the feed. Thank you. Poison Potion, Dropkick Clash, True Grit. True Grit for the defense, naturally. Six max HP lost there as well. Feed has already kind of prepared me for that. You've got 12 Metallicize on that uh, Lug of Bullen right there. That's, uh, that's a lot of Metallicize. So that means it just has four Metallicize by base. We're actually going to have a lot of difficulty getting through that. Yeah, there's the four metallicized by base. 20 damage. We actually could pretty easily die in this combat. Okay. Can't really afford to burn anything there. Use the Ancient Potion because as certain as I am that we are going to die, I am still obliged to take every precaution to prevent such an occurrence. Now I can survive through this turn with only a single defend. Mm-hmm. 
I really don't see how we can deal 35 damage over the next... Yeah, we're done. Take me. That's real frustrating. All right. Uh, wait, this has the new bonus, doesn't it? Yeah, enemies in the next three combats have one HP or eight max HP. Next three combats having one HP is going to help us kind of set up for the rest of the run. We can't get an elite with it or anything like that, unfortunately, though. Clothesline's pretty ridiculous. So I'll be taking that. Again, no doubt. Thank you. When Stefani's my fave. Bludgeon. I'll take a bludgeon if I can see one. I need to guarantee that I don't take a regret, so... Well, there we go. Take a bludgeon. And you know what? Because I just took a bludgeon and a uh, clothesline, we've got high cost hands, so I'll take a good instincts for some free defense. Tropic Bruise, nice. Uh, no, we don't have enough upgrades on this path to get Searing Blow like seriously going yet. I can't actually accept any of those right now. Bloodletting Sword Boomerang, second wins. Bloodletting actually seems considering how much I just put in my deck in terms of like high cost cards kind of seems necessary mm -hmm. all right I'm gonna nice we got a bloodletting that's gonna be really good so we can bloodletting strike bludgeon the front line in order to kill them I'll then drop a brew at this point Okay. Results could have been slightly better or slightly worse. I think we'll now be in this fight for long enough to get a significant amount of the regen out of that potion. That should have been a double strike in the back line so that if I drew a bludge in this hand, I would have lethal. Bludgeon's effectively just going to be our kind of like finisher. Could have gone a lot worse. Good instincts, as well as a block. Hell yeah, we're actually going to get full value out of the healing potion. That is to say, the regen potion. Nice. Nunchku, every time you play 10 attacks, gain an energy. Second, bloodletting is probably too much for a deck that doesn't yet have any draw. Unfortunately, we're set with weakness now, which is uh, not great. I'll accept one damage here so that I can deal a reasonable amount myself. I'd love to have played Bludgeon that turn, but I really could not uh, kind of find a way in to do that. Twin Strike, True Grit Armaments. True Grit. It's a nice defensive card. That sucks. 18 damage on the first turn. Not much I can do about that. I'm even drafting the defensive guards that are being offered to me. Okay, so take 18 HP off of that enemy. What do they go down to? So they go down to uh, 45, 35. They go down to 35. 35 double to 70, which means they would be at their split value. I don't want that. So if I take another 9 off of them right now, that's another 35. Okay, so I don't want that either. Didn't want to burn the clothesline there. I would have been happy with burning either of the other cards. Right. I'm going to have to split the enemy. I can't just accept another 18 damage to the face. Mm -hmm. Damn it. 
I should have been striking the backliner in the previous turn. That all would have turned out a lot better had I done so. Ah, grumble. All right. We get an extra energy next time we play a card, though. That's a really early perfected strike. Armaments you don't take as a defensive card. It doesn't even upgrade its block when you upgrade it. It upgrades all of the other cards in hand, yeah. But not the block. One of the big problems that I have with armaments right now is if I play armaments, I can't play bludgeon in the same hand unless I also have bloodletting. And that's like a lot to ask for. I think I actually have to dodge that elite this floor. I'll be taking on two elites instead, but uh, but the benefit that I get is I get to upgrade my bludgeon really early. Paper Frog, enemies with vulnerable take 75% more damage rather than 50. Uh, we've got big attacks, so we can take advantage of that. We just need some vulnerability set up. So now things like, you know, Shockwave, uh, Thunderclap especially, those kinds of things are looking real good. Yeah, I don't think I could have killed that turn. We do the 42 and then we could have done six thereafter. That's not enough. Layman Barrier up against another clothesline. We are lacking defense. So I'm going to have to take the Flame Barrier. I didn't want to take the Flame Barrier, but I had to take the Flame Barrier. I should have played a single strike there in order to increment the Nunchaku as well. Wow. Bludgeon and Bash at the very bottom of the deck. They are literally the two cards that I wanted so that I could start waking the Lark of Woolen up. I'm mad. Consider me salty. No, oh, I just have to go for the direct damage rather than applying vulnerability there. I still need to kick in extra damage so that the next bludgeon kills. I'm pretty reliant on it at this point. There we go. Centennial Puzzle. The first time you lose HP, each combat draw three cards. That's actually extremely powerful considering the bloodletting. Now the bloodletting on... Before I take damage, at the very least, is draw three cards as well as gain some energy. Really good. It's like offering light. Thunderclap. Yeah, Disarm is good against the final boss, but the final boss actually immediately removes the Disarm debuff. Not immediately, but they remove it soon thereafter uh, and buff their strength while doing so. So while you can disarm them on the turn that they're doing the multi-attack and it's good for that, I would have to have specifically disarm on that turn. It's a little bit of a long bow to draw. And I think that the Thunderclap is going to help me get there. It doesn't matter how potent I am against the final boss if I die before I get there. We need to lose Bash. It's too expensive to play at the moment. I was hopeful I was going to have a better hand than that. Specifically something that included the... Uh, Bloodletting, that is. I can remove one of them. My HP, though. I'm intentionally actually just going to overblock this turn. Over the next two turns, I'm literally just waiting to draw my 
bludgeon. Because I don't want the nunchaku to tick over. Dead branch. Whenever you exhaust a card, a random card to your hand. Yep. Perfected strike. I'm thinking of how am I going to get past this boss, and the perfected strikes are really going to help with that. I actually think I need to rest in the next phase as much as I want to do anything except it. So this is now the corruption waiting room. If for some reason you have a problem with me using, you know, dead branch corruption... Why? I have seen that position taken before. And why? It's very good. And somewhat necessary if I want to make any benefit out of having the dead branch. So I did the exhume there to get a random card, but also to put the Ascendant's Bane back into my hand so I could get another random card. Whoa, why did you split? Oh, it's... I... It has 150 HP. I set it to 72. That's why it split. I played the... Perfected Strike before the offering there because I wanted to get the Perfected Strike again. I wanted to get that back. Right. I should now be able to Thunderclap for the kill. Oh, look, it's Corruption! I wouldn't have been able to play it anyway. Not that turn, at least. So 22 less than that takes you down to 30, 30... Ah, no, that's not going to work. Yeah, burning packs. Chop. Set myself up for a better later turn. Yeah, Berserk... Uh, Berserk Brutality, sorry, Berserk... Metallicize. Happy there. And it's corruption time. Mm hmm. Okay. <sighs> corruption is good. I like corruption. Nice. I'll take an immolator after this boss if I get it. And if I don't, I'll take that offering. It's going to help us kind of take off a lot faster. Yikes. No energy relic here is really rough. Uh, so the thing that I am immediately considering is take the orrery, which is five card selections. Uh, look for cards that exhaust, cards that give me value, uh, cards that give me block, corruption. Yeah. True Grit's fine. Iron Wave's fine. True Grit's fine. Infernal Blade, when upgraded, would be fine. Uppercut's fine. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to be adding a lot of these to the deck. I can't necessarily afford any of these. Yet. Okay, we definitely can't fight elites early here, unfortunately. I'll be taking a little bit of damage this turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Love of Blood actually probably will be active over the course of this battle, so... kind of making out of this battle like a bandit. I really didn't think we were going to be fine. The flame barrier obviously is pretty ridiculous, but 
outside of that, this deck is, like, with the amount of high-cost cards this deck has, it's really ill-equipped to take care of the enemies in this fashion. I'm always pleased to be wrong. Flex can bust demon form. Flex actually has a little bit of a position right now, considering how many attacks that we're playing. But and and the fact that we also have, you know, not we, we a free card in our hand is a lot more valuable to us right now because we spend so much energy on everything else. I don't think I can take it though. I don't have any cards that like directly benefit from it disproportionately. Two, three. Necronomicon, right, all right. Uh, well, we already have Bludgeon in this deck, which is obviously why I decided that that was going to be a good thing to go for. Four foot demon form, Bash. ghostly armor. I would take ghostly armor pretty happily here. I would take shrug it off pretty happily here. I'm not taking doubt though. Yeah, I don't want the demon form either. Demon form would just be too expensive for us. Uh, so Necronomicon, the first attack you play each turn that costs two or more is played twice. Upon pickup, obtain a special curse that cannot be removed from the deck. And with the Perfected Strikes... Oh, there's the Corruption. Uh, with the Perfected Strikes especially, this is just going to help us kind of dunk on everything. I would love to take Brimstone, but... There's a problem, isn't there? This will buff the heart. If I have Brimstone, I am not going to be capable of beating the heart at all. Uh, Master of Strategy and Enlightenment both seem like great pickups here. I also kind of want the Lantern for the extra energy on the first turn. And we'll take it as a result of that. Let's make Corruption 2 cost. It's the most important card in the deck right now. Time to go off. Damn, we went off quickly. What are we, a banana? <laughs> I actually liked that. All right. Mm -hmm. Double tap fiend fire is ridiculous when you have the dead branch. You just refill your entire hand. Yay. Get that fiend far back. And just destroy our enemies. Feel no pain, obviously, is going to help provide us a lot of defense whilst we're doing this. And that's why Necronomicon is amazing. really didn't want to have to play offering in this fight, but okay. Fine, you made me. Well done. <laughs> um, all right, we'll upgrade that and then play that and then exhume something like an offering. We good yet? Time to kill? Yeah. Armaments, Thunderclap, Sword, Boomerang. Armaments now actually has more of a position in the deck, a pre-upgraded one especially, because it can upgrade the cards that I get from the dead branch. We'll take the Sapphire Key here. The boot is extremely low value. And we're about to get our second key, with any luck at least. Thunderclap, double the perfected strike on the back line, enlightenment so that I can get the thunder, uh, the other card out, rather. I don't know. That, I don't know if I could have had a better opening turn considering these enemies all started with three strength. Mm-hmm. 
Nice. Seeing red's real good. Ooh, Juggernaut is going to be ridiculous for us. Because we gain block when we play a block card as well as whenever we exhaust the card. How many attacks have I played this turn? Probably not that many. When I said ridiculous for us, what I clearly meant was, eh, it'll be okay. I guess. Or a Calcum, if you end your turn without block and six block, as well as the Emerald Key. As much as I want to take the Intimidate, Reaper now goes in this deck. It's, uh... I'm going to be much more capable of getting a better result out of it more commonly, I guess. True Grit, the corruption, because it literally can't do anything for us now. Mm, with that Body Slam, we only need like a couple more defensive cards. Metallicize. Yeah, okay. Well, the chain stops here, apparently. This is now the no fun zone. I think I didn't take damage there because I messed up the previous turn. Another perfected strike. Yup. They're only going to get more valuable. Uh, shovel, you can now dig for relics at rest sites. I mean, I kind of want to. Like a lot. Girdia, you can now gain strength at rest sites, I guess. That's also quite good. Um, yeah, definitely double upcut you. Mm -hmm. And here we go off. There's the Reaper that I'm looking for. So now I'm looking for basically any fashion by which I can gain strength. Don't burn Reaper. Cool, didn't burn Reaper. Self-damage plus the rupture that I just burned could have been used. Actually, Reaper gets double played. I forgot about the fact. Oh, I already double played something that turn. No! Okay, Reaper does get double played if you're not, you know, dumb like me. I'm mainly looking for not bottled lightning. Not bottled lightning. I'll put offering my open hand though. Uh the thing that isn't bottled lightning that I can't remember the name of right now, that's what I'm looking for. And it's time to start going off. Alright. Already? Yeah, already. And off we shall go. Alright, um... I have to burn that power through, unfortunately. I really can't afford to play that. Throw a... Fear potion on you so that I can just double down on that hit. Ah, damn. That definitely could have been better. Body Slam is excellent with this kind of deck. Fiendfire gets double play just from the Necronomicon. If we can get an actual Fiendfire card in this deck, we will instantly win. Oh, good lord. This is wild. I mean, I, I can only take something that's a skill, right?
Okay. Enemy tried to slap my face and will slap right back. Another Reaper, I think. They double play. We are going to get a lot of healing out of that. Uh, we do need another energy relic. I can't take the Philosopher's Stone because we don't have a first energy relic, by the way. Uh, I can't take the Philosopher's Stone. Obviously, because it'll buff the heart too much. So I'll take the Busted Crown. We do have the Ruby Key that we still need to pick up. That's just going to be a single rest. So not that difficult for us to get. No escaping this curse, eh? Oh, where are my Reapers? Find out something unnecessary. This is kind of working quite well so far. And I'm going to double up on that whirlwind. Maybe I put a single copy of Body Slam into the deck just because we can generate a ridiculous amount of block. Yeah. We'll lose the flame barrier, but I'm not happy about it. You don't want magnetism. It's another power and a bunch of random cards in my hand. We already have the ability to get a bunch of random cards in our hand. We don't need assistance on that front. All right. Worked out pretty well in the end there. Another armaments, sure. More than happy to. Thread and Needle, start each combat with floor, uh, floor plated armor. Just plated armor that started on the floor. Do I want to start flexing? If I get three flexes off, both of those Reapers become really insane. Armament. Double up on that Reaper. That's a lot of damage, and that's a lot of healing. Hell yeah. That's a bad hand. I am going to throw all of it. Yep, all of it. Alright, cool. We're fine now. Whew. I was worried for a bit there. And body snipe for the kill. Pantograph at the start of boss combat, heal for 25 HP. Quite powerful right there. Just short on getting the ice cream. <sighs> Hmm. At the start of each combat, add a random colorless card into your hand. Most of them tend to be exhaust. I know I'm about to make the opposite argument to the argument I made for magnetism, but for my benefit, uh, sorry, uh, for my benefit, for my, uh, in my defense, I guess, uh, magnetism you have to play. And this is only one card, whereas magnetism is a lot. I'll take it. Preserved insect. Enemies in elite rooms have 25% less HP. We'll lift here again. Uh, that should help me against the spire stuff on the next floor, right? Lose all gold in order to obtain the red mask. So I did combo with one weak on all enemies. Uh, we'll lift once more. And then we should probably dig in the final space. Madness. Madness generates a card for us by its own exhaust in this deck. It can hit high cost cards. Hitting a high cost, uh, high cost card is not necessarily a good thing. 
It's mana accelerant. We already have enough draw. Okay, let's take madness in this deck. I do like madness. I just don't think it was applicable in a lot of the recent decks that it was offered in. Body slam is exactly what I didn't want to burn there, right? Ugh, video game. Damn. Mm, was really hoping to get Warcry at the very end there. Oh, well. We shouldn't really be able to be hit anymore. What with the barricade already out. Mm -hmm. Yep. I misordered that, obviously. I need to continue stacking my defense because then I'm just going to drop a Reaper on both of them. May as well heal while I have the opportunity to do so. Such an event would look a lot like that. Upgraded body slam, sure. Obviously, recall. Gets myself one final space to get that done. Metamorphosis, shovel three random attacks into draw while they cost zero this combat. I think that's kind of good, but I don't want to use it right now. I am more than happy to take six damage this turn and already have the cultists down. Yes, thank you. Hey. All right, all armaments, madness. Yeah, we're not really getting the kind of result I was looking for, but it's okay. All right. I need Reaper to double up, so I can't reduce its cost with Enlightenment. Start incrementing the Rampage. We might see it a couple of times over the course of the combat. Who knows? Stranger things have happened. All right. So I don't have a second boss after this. That's an important thing to note. Ooh, double raid. And stack a bunch of weakness. Oh, yeah. Get the energy from Sentinel. Hell, yes. All right. We're all covered. So 17 damage this upcoming turn. Whatever. Ooh. A limit break is exactly the kind of thing we're looking for. Sever Soul Searing Glow and Bluff of Blood. Yeah, all totally reasonable things to add to our deck there. Nice. And we'll use Second Wind to burn a lot of those things out of my hand that I didn't want there. And just go absolutely buck while playing Powers now. Mm. 
Mm. Good thing we did what we did in terms of playing the powers. Uh, that is to say, in terms of playing Dark Embrace, or rather generating and then playing Dark Embrace, because otherwise we could have had a really rough time with that uh, that turn in particular. All right, destroy the heart. 1284. 1284? 1285, I think it was, actually. So we have nothing that we can really do in this upcoming shop, so we kind of just get to look at it wistfully. Dig for another relic. Let her open every time we play three skills in a single turn. Deal five damage to all enemies. <laughs> Nothing I can do about this, unfortunately. I would really love to take orange pellets. Actually might be the highest value thing there for us. Okay. I'm actually going to use Enlightenment so that I can play a bunch of these cards this turn. Even if I'm not going to get the full value out of them. Ooh, double up on that Reaper. I mean... This is going off already. Thank you, Ghostly Armor, for an extra card in my next hand. Not too much I can do about that. I've just got to try and heal up afterwards. Or not. Mercury Hourglass at the start of your turn. Deal three damage to all enemies, as well as a headbutt that we don't want. All right. Thankfully, we've got Liquid Bronze for this battle. Panic Button. Gain 30 block. You cannot gain block for the next two turns. The sound I make when I don't know about that. All right. Corruption started. Now all we need to do is have enough powers to... Sorry, enough powers. Uh, all we need to do is have enough block to not die. <laughs> Which, yes, I'm aware is the goal of every single run of this video game. In retrospect, not the most clever thing I've ever said. over this fight or hemokinesis because I can say it correctly I just don't want to alright I kind of want to leave the pummel in the deck for later and we'll do good work thorns The armor, great pick up there. Rage, thank you. Sentinel, all right, all right, all right. Things are very heavily tending in our direction at this point. Hmm, that's not good. Yeah, we're going to be taking a fair whack of damage this turn. Still have another Reaper in the deck, right? Right, with that Infernal Blade, we can now actually go off again. Oh, double tap as well. It's my birthday, apparently. I didn't think it was, but now it is. And we'll double tap Fiend Fire. We gain a lot of block because of Feel No Pain. Each of those Feel No Pain triggers uh, also deals 5 damage to the enemy because of Juggernaut. 
And now the enemy isn't capable of taking any more damage. So at this point, it's about how much can I debuff them? Evolve is actually going to be really good for us as well. Specifically, actually, what I'm looking for right now is a way to keep my block for the next turn. So barricade, basically. This only barricade that really performs that function for us right now. Have we burnt a barricade over the course of the run? Wow. Amazingly not. Fancy that. Well, I'll take another Sentinel, get some HP back. Sorry, some energy back, rather. Because we are by no means done here. We're gaining strength. Ah, oh, nice. Playing a demon form as well. Mm, okay, we're now done. That's fine, though. Nothing should really be able to do anything to his next turn. I'm going to kill the enemy with the Reaper. Because I could. That's going to be our Ascension 10 victory. That is to say, Ascension 10 Heartbreaker victory for the Ironclad for the moment. My name has been Route City. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire. I was about to say Enter the Gungeon. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. And hopefully we'll see you next time.